On the next canine corner, we have the ultimate one-stop shop for you and your dog here in Torrance. We'll learn about Pink Poochie dog grooming and Torrance dog training. Plus, we'll tell you how you can give this little guy a forever home. All this coming up on the next Canine Corner. Hi there, I'm Rihanna Chertanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. We have a great show for you today. We'll take you to a one-stop shop here in Torrance that you and your canine companion will love. It features Pink Poochie dog grooming and Torrance dog training. But before we take you there, let's meet some adorable rescue dogs who are looking for their forever homes. Animals Rural Rescue um, is at 305 North Harbor in San Pedro. Um, we have been a rescue since I believe 2003 and um, we place um, almost 200, do 200 dogs a year. Um, a lot of them are pulled from the shelter and some are owner surrenders. Um, right now we have a great group of volunteers. Um, we try to keep them in foster homes as much as we can. Uh, we do have kennels but preferably we like fosters. Our adoptions are every Saturday from 11 to 3. Um, we can sometimes make special appointments if needed. We also adopt through um, a pet expo, some other private events. Diego is, was born in 2002. Um, he's always lived with his partner, Bo. His um, owners, uh, one has passed away, the other was put into assisted living and the family turned them into the shelter. They lived a month at the shelter and animals rule, pulled them out of the shelter. And they've both had a clean bill of health and a dental. Um, they need to be adopted together because Diego is attached to Bo. They sleep together, they're always together. This is Bo, he was born in 2002. He's a cockapoo. He, um, was turned into the shelter by uh, the children of the owners. Um, one of the owners died and one went into assisted living. He lived in the shelter for one month with his partner, uh, Diego. Um, we, our rescue group, Animals Rule, pulled him out of the shelter and he's up for adoption. He can be with any family, uh, children, seniors. Uh, he does like walks um, outdoors. He's house trained. Um, he plays, he loves other dogs, he likes cats. He can go in anywhere, any home. Oh, he's very active. It's, it's hard to keep him sitting here right now. He jumped off this table once already. <laughs> so he's a young guy, young at heart, right? Well, at their age, they're doing a lot of sleeping, <laughs> but they play with other dogs. They're both, they like cats. They um, are fostered in a home with two other dogs, sometimes more if there's an, a foster dog. Um, they're just easy going, really easy. They're both house trained with an open door. Um, they eat real well. They need to be adopted together. Um, Diego is very attached to Bo. They sleep together. They, they both come to you with tail wags and happy dogs. If you are interested in adopting these dogs, please contact Animals Rule Rescue at animalsrule.org. Those dogs are adorable and can't wait for you to give them a forever home. Now there are a lot of options when it comes to dog grooming, but Pink Poochie Dog Grooming treats their clients just like family. At Pink Poochie Dog Grooming, dogs aren't just an appointment time. They are members of the Pink Poochie family. Um, pretty much we do everything that your pet can need as in getting groomed or being tip top shape for their health and the, the owner's own. Um, we bathe, uh, we clean the ears, we pluck out ear hair, we do anal gland expressions, we trim and grind nails, and the haircut, of course. But the grooming service at Pink Poochie goes beyond what's expected of a groomer. They communicate with each pet parent about their dogs. Yes, we're very uh, connected with the pet parent, so every time they come in, we do tend to go over every detail with them to see if anything has changed with their health, if um, there's any needs or necessities that we need to be more careful with, if it's an older pet, 
of course we need to move slower and make sure that we're not positioning their joints in a manner that's going to hurt them and if their coat is in tip-top condition we can actually go ahead and do any style that the pet parent is looking for. And Pink Poochie Dog Grooming not only works with the customers to go over their pet's grooming styles, but they also specialize in a very unique grooming technique. We, do, we actually are specialized in Japanese grooming, so it's like the very round face. The, um, the look is more um, anime, I want to say, it, for them to look more like, like a little stuffed animal. Pink Poochie works to make the grooming experience as efficient as possible to make pets comfortable and make things convenient for pet owners. It's, um, I want to say, hour and a half to two hours at the most because we're in and out and everybody works as a team. So meanwhile, somebody is pre-clipping, another person is bathing, and then another person is um, doing the nails. So we try to get them in and out so they're not stressed in the environment that they're in. Pink Poochie offers a calming and relaxing environment, not only for the pets, but for the pet owners as well. Pet parents are always welcome to wait at Pink Poochie if they are apprehensive about leaving their dog while he or she is being groomed. The parents are always more than welcome to stay. Um, we have the area where they can wait outside. Um, we work slower with the pet to get the pet to trust us. Once the pet has sense that we're not going to hurt it, it usually goes by smoothly. After spending time at Pink Poochie and watching the groomers work with the dogs, it's easy to see why so many clients keep bringing their canine companions back to Pink Poochie dog grooming. My favorite part of the, my job is the animals. I've been an animal lover since I was seven, eight years old that I can recall. And every day I wake up wanting to come to work because it's a new pet every day. You don't get the same one and they all have their own personality and they all act differently. That love and care for the animals is what makes Pink Poochie not just a dog groomer, but a home away from home. When the pets come in, they're usually very happy to see us. They come in running, wagging their tails, licking and saying hello to everybody. If you would like more information about Pink Poochie Dog Grooming, please visit pinkpoochiedoggrooming.com. Such a great groomer. I want to go there for a spa day. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. There's much more doggone fun when we come back. Your son wants to get a cat, really but you're allergic. Do you A, prepare yourself, B, make the best of it, C squared equals 25. Good job! Or C, find a loophole. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers, but that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Rhiannon Trutanich. Getting your dog good training is very important, and at Torrance Dog Training, they'll help your dog be the best he can be. When you first walk in, Torrance Dog Training might seem like heaven, since there are puppies, puppies, and a few more puppies but there is some serious and adorable business going on here. The training that we offer here is just basic obedience. Um, as far as like sit, down, stay, come, look at me, their name, as well as like some, a little bit of housebreaking, like potty training, how to manage jumping, um, with your dog jumping on people and stuff like that. Torrance Dog Training works with dogs in small groups and offers a hands-on approach, tackling common behavioral issues to help dogs be the best they can be. So for dog training, we uh, mainly focus on puppies uh, because uh, I noticed that a lot of times, you know, if your puppies are not well trained, then owners become frustrated and then the puppies can eventually end up in the shelter, you know, unfortunately. So we, um, we offer several packages for puppies, uh, very affordable, very economical. Torrance Dog Training offers several different training packages ranging from a few sessions to a full month with extension programs available as well. And one package includes a training session in public to help your dog get acclimated in social situations. So I practice with your, with your dog inside and out and I mean of course because the reason I practice with your dog outside is because I want your dog to be as successful as possible in the outside world just because in the outside world there's distractions, there's cats, there's squirrels, there's people that are wanting to and there's people that wanting to pet your dog and sometimes as pet owners we have to let the people know hey I'm so sorry you know you can't pet my dog just because it isn't training. So I also teach people like basic dog behavior, basic um, dog um, behavior cues that they like stress signals and stuff like that if your dog is dehydrated so as well as like with 
training, I also teach you like the little subtle signs of stress that your dog demonstrates. Torrance Dog Training also offers packages that include one-on-one -on -one dog training sessions that pet parents can even sit in on, but the training doesn't stop there. And then I also send out videos and pictures to you, so then that way you can go ahead and download them to your phone or to your computer, whatever you got. I mean, that way you can reinforce any positive behavior that your dog is being taught here. I mean, the reason I do that is because a lot of these places, you know, they teach your dog for an hour, but then you go home and you're clueless, like, what do I do with my dog? Um, so I give people my phone numbers, um, so then that way they can reach out to me, you can send me like videos of your dog doing any bad behavior and I go ahead and address that behavior either through call or text just because I don't want that pet owner to feel alone or to feel that okay I'm paying for a service and the service not really working so I try to always have that close relationship with the owner just because I know that our dogs are like our our, essentially like our kids, you know? And so um, as, well as, like, as well as like with your kid, you wanna know who you're leaving your dog with and stuff. So I keep that communication open with the pet parent. And even after your dog has completed his or her training program, you can bring him or her back for doggy daycare to help reinforce those training skills. When we were talking before, you mentioned there are dogs who are here for training as well as yes. dogs who are also just here for daycare. And yeah. I think that that's kind of a really interesting thing that, you know, dogs can pick up who are training can pick up from the dogs who've already been trained and the dogs <sighs> who have already been trained uh, could maybe even refresh some of their training yeah, skills. Yeah, definitely. So a lot of a lot of our daycare dogs used to be our clients. So um, if you go through our training, if you go through our training programs, you go ahead and offer a discount for daycare just because you are classified as a student. Now, a lot of these daycare, um, a lot of these daycare dogs, we go ahead and reinforce any positive behavior that he or she may have learned like at their house. So I always talk to the parent just to get the full details of the dog. Like, is there anything that you're working on with your dog as far as like potty training or calling their name? So then that way I can reinforce it here because the last thing I would want is for somebody to be training their dog at home and then for me to regress all that training, you know. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a great opportunity for dogs that have been trained to come back and refresh on all their skills and keep that, um, keep that steady flow of training going. And we also do the favor for, uh, for the pet owners to deplete all that energy here because mental, mental and physical simulation is very important for a dog. And training is about staying consistent long after your dog leaves his or her training session. But don't worry, the trainers at Torrance Dog Training work with their clients to customize a training plan specific to each dog. A lot of behavior, it all starts from home. If you get your dog on a constant routine, uh, on a constant daily basis training, your dog's going to pick it up and your dog's going to be the dog that you want him to be just because of that consistency. That's great. Yeah. And it's really interesting that you guys... Um, tailor the training to each individual dog. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah, so that's a good thing about us and that, that defers us from the other training. And pet parents can rest assured that their dogs will be taken care of when they're at Torrance Dog Training. Since we've been here, I've seen that you've been in here with the dogs the entire time. Right. Um, I think that's really important. Do you think that that sort of might settle people's minds or pet parents who might be nervous about leaving their dog? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Because of course you always want somebody with your dogs. Now of course, um, if I'm, we have a rule here that everybody, when somebody leaves the, the, the yard, what we call it the little yard, when somebody leaves the little yard, somebody always has to be inside here because in one split of a second, a dog's behavior can change. In a split of a second, some dog may think that it's, for, it's required for me to take up that role of a leader. And so that's why I require for everybody to know that everybody needs Needs to have somebody inside here at all times. And from the trainers to the facility to the dogs enrolled in the program, it's clear Torrance dog training is helping dogs. But even after all that, if you are not convinced, the owner invites you in to see for yourself. Come on by, check us out, uh, spend half a day, uh, drop off your dog for half a day at no charge. Um, the owner can even stay here for an hour or half an hour, however long they like to watch their dog's reaction towards other dogs, towards the handlers, and towards the environment. If you would like more information about Torrance Dog Training and the programs they offer, please visit TorrenceDogTraining.com. What a great program. Let's head back to Torrance Dog Training and get some tips from the head trainer there. What advice do you have for new pet parents? 
What I would like to encourage parents to do is, even if you don't get training with us, get your dog through a training program. You know, um, it's beneficial for a dog to get trained just because I see a lot of dogs at shelters um, that may have like a small behavioral issue that could have easily been fixed with basic training. Um, even if you don't do training with us, take your dog training, take, exercise your dog, you know? Uh, if you don't have the resources to, train, to purchase a training package from anywhere, go on YouTube. Um, there's a lot of great dog trainers on YouTube that, that you know, that you can just watch. What would you say are the keys to dog training? I tell people the, only, the keys to dog training is just consistency and patience. If you want to teach your dog how to walk on a leash, you know, train with them every single day. It doesn't have to be, you know, an hour at a time. You know, you could do two hours and break them throughout, throughout day, you know, throughout the day. It could be 15 minutes at a time. It could be 10 minutes at a time. You know, as long as you're just doing it every single day, um, your dog is going to be the, the perfect dog that you want him to be. What is a common issue that you see with pets? A lot of like uh, little issues that I see like with, with dogs um, that come in is potty training. So potty training, a lot of, I see a lot of pet parents don't want to deal with potty training, you know, but potty training, I think it's just one of those things that you're gonna, just going to have to be patient. The dog is going to eventually get it as long as you, you know, you reinforce him, if you reinforce him peeing on, on the pee pad, you know, by giving him treats and letting him know like, hey, dude, if you pee on the pee pad or if you pee outside, you're going to get heavily rewarded. How can you train your dog to walk better on a leash? Um, another common problem would be um, being reactive on a leash, like pet parents not being able to, to walk their dogs. Um, and I tell people, you know, um, a lot of re uh, the main reason be, be uh, the main reason why dogs pull is just because dogs weren't meant to be on a leash. So we have to teach our dogs to, to let just to let them know if you stay on my side, you're gonna get rewarded. You know, um, so it gives the dog more of an incentive to stop pulling because if I walk and I stop, the dog stops and gets rewarded. So the dog begins to think that, okay, when, when my owner's walking and he stops and I stop, I get rewarded too. So maybe I should stop whenever he stops. So um, that's, a, that's a common problem that I see with pet parents, just loose leash walking. But I mean, like with loose leash walking or um, being reactive on a leash, you know, it can be fixed with just training. Um, as long as you put the time and dedication into training your dog and training him every single day, like I said, your dog is gonna be the greatest dog you would ever want him to be. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. Now, if you missed the adoption segment at the beginning of the show, here's your recap. Bo and Diego are a bonded pair who are looking to be adopted to the same family. Diego is a 15-year-old poodle mix. He's an adorable dog and his favorite thing is spending time with his best friend Bo. He's very mellow and gets along with other dogs, cats, and children. He's housebroken and would make a great addition to any family. Bo is a 15-year-old cockapoo. He's a very sweet dog. He loves hanging out with his best buddy, Diego. He's a very active dog for his age. He gets along with other dogs, cats, and children. He would do best in any type of home. Bo and Diego need to be adopted together. If you are interested in adopting these dogs, please contact Animals Rule Rescue at animalsrule.org. If you want even more Canine Corner, be sure to like our Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Tritanich, and we'll see you next time. Hey.